and a story now that's new on the night beat surveillance video of a fire that destroyed an iconic Albuquerque business confirming investigators suspicions that people are to blame. This all happened, you might recall, on Sunday at the washtub laundromat located on Central. Now, not only was the washtub used as a set in shows like Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, it also served a large community of people. Cassie Foote spoke with AFR leadership today. So Cassie, what have they learned so far? Well, the video shows homeless people camping near the building where the fire started. Investigators suspect they started that fire to try to stay warm, but that fire spread and those people took off. It's not a full picture, but this surveillance video is giving fire investigators a clearer picture of what happened at the wash tub laundromat. You can see a group of people pulling their camp away from the flames. It confirms what investigators suspected, that homeless people started the fire. Albuquerque Fire Rescue spokesperson Jason Fayer says it's possible they did it to stay warm. I don't know how we can ever know the true intent of anything, and so, but just based on the surveillance video and the fact that they were moving their stuff away from the fire as it grew, uh, I, I don't know that I could say that it was intentional or accidental. He says it began right here here about 50 feet away from the laundromat, but it got out of hand quickly. Cinder block wall and a, the brick facade of the building, uh, just fire has a way of creeping into things and, and especially finding voids. And uh, there was a passive breeze out of the north that night. So it fueled this, uh, this attic fire and set it around the length of the building. Doug Peterson owns more than 50 properties across the metro, including two nearby that caught the incident on camera. I'm not surprised. I'm of course continually disappointed by uh, the condition of Albuquerque and that we allow those kind of things to happen. He says he's dealt with his fair share of trespassers. He even had a similar but less severe incident at one of his businesses. I had transients set the side of our building on fire, did over $30,000 worth of damage, which is still there because I can't afford to repair that right now. Late last year, AFR launched a pilot program staffing a brush truck to patrol for outdoor fires 24-7. In January alone, the crew responded to nearly 800 of them. The point is to get to those warming fires before they turn into this. This is heartbreaking to see and it's exactly what we're trying to avoid. As far as charges goes, Fayer says that's up to investigators, but there is an open case because of how severe the damage is. They just need to find those people in that video, which Fayer says isn't always so easy. Trevor? I can imagine it's quite difficult. Cassie, thank you so much.